Okay guys, check this out. We got ourselves our board put together. This is our demo portion of our put together here. So now what we got here, let me see if I can't uh, get something to point to everything with. I, I Believe it or not, I did not have a 50K uh, resistor. So what I got is I've got a bunch of 10K resistors here um, and I've just kind of like stacked five of them together. One, two, three, four, uh, five and so I've got five of them five of them together here to make the 50k and then they're also in line with this potentiometer right here it's hooked up uh, exactly this one's kind of a kind of a rat's nest to look at so I apologize for it not being neater but um, here's our 470 ohm resistor right here here's our LED okay our good old timer our LM 585 timer Here's our two capacitors. I didn't have any .01 capacitors, but I had some ceramics that were fairly close to that. So, um, you know, it's a .01 micro, which is about 10 nano. And these, I think these are around, oh, nine or so. I can't remember exactly what they are. So they're close. They're close to point, .01 micro or 10 nano. So anyway, so we got our, uh, we got a potentiometer. And like I said, I only have 20K, so we just have to kind of deal with it. But um, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the put the scope trace up uh, somewhere on the screen. And there we go. Okay, so we got the scope trace going, and now I'm going to we're going to check this thing out. So let me get some power going. And there we go. And there's the light. There's the waveform. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to attempt to adjust this i may use i may need to use a like a screwdriver or something let's see i got one of my screwdrivers here because that might be easier to do with all this camera setup and everything this is easier when i okay so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust that and as you can see the waveform is going to get yeah, or at least the off time is going to get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. Because remember, we're adjusting that B resistor, which that B resistor controls the off time okay, of it, which, you know, inadvertently will mess with the, uh, the on time as well. It's either going to make the on time a lot more or a lot less. Okay, see how that's going? And if you notice, the LED, I don't know if you can see that. No, well, not really. It's getting really bright. Oops. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell the LED getting brighter or dimmer. Well, I guess you can. If I do it really fast, you can see it dim, bright, dim, and then bright. Okay, so I guess you you can you can barely see it. Like I said, I just I just don't have enough resolution here. I can do this with my fingers better. I just don't have enough resolution, as you can see. See it? It'll get bright and then get dimmer, brighter, dimmer, brighter, dimmer. Okay, there we go. I don't know. Hopefully that's picking it up. It looks like it. I'm looking at the camera screen right now and it looks like it's picking that up. So hopefully that's, you can see that. Like I said, if I had more resolution, um, I'd be able to, uh, I'd be able to get this guy to, to behave more properly for you. But anyway, that's basically, that's basically it. So there you go. There's a PWM wave without having to write any software. Um, having to keep track of any code of any kind. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. There'll be more of these hardware videos out there. Uh, so, stay tuned. Like, subscribe, share, um, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you haven't checked out my channel, please come by. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Check out the new forum. If you haven't uh, stopped by there, please stop by. If you have any questions, post them there. And by all means, you can post them uh, on this video as well. I, I'll, I answer my YouTube uh, comments. Uh, just as frequently as I'm going to try to answer any questions and whatnot that may come up in the forum. But if for some reason I'm not around and the forum, you know, people, you know, are around, then they'll they'll answer your questions too. I'm sure that I'm kind of wanting to build kind of a, a community. Oh, there goes my antivirus on my scope. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, check out the forum because, like I said, I'd love to kind of build a community there just in case if anybody has any questions and I can't get around to answering them because I know I get busy sometimes. 
um, that someone else might be able to help you guys out. So check that out. Uh, if you want any t-shirts, help support the channel, check out uh, Zazzle. And uh, this video will also be up on uh, Instructables. So if you have uh, friends or anybody that uh, is signed up to Instructables and not YouTube yet, um, have them check out uh check me out on Instructables. And then, as always, follow me on Twitter as well if you want to. Uh, I usually use that as kind of my messaging board anymore to post different things, different thoughts I have going on or different projects. So check me out in all those places. And guys, I think that ought to do it. Take care. We'll see you.